I have been praying, and I think that a lot of particularly white American or just white Western prominent people who over the last 10 years or so have, well, essentially, I think that many of them started out with good motivations, but particularly on racial issues, they did what I call hide, you know, or so what I surmise as hiding their prejudice, it, you know, by, um, by supposedly fighting wokeism. And I don't think, I don't think that many of them meant to do that at first. But I do think that when, you know, when the rubber, when the rubber met the road, you know, and it was really time for racial relations to again come to light, particularly racial relations, but other, other things to come to light and for people to really start to delve into the complex tumor that is racism, particularly in America and in the West. And when that when that time came, and that was roughly about six years ago, like it was it was time, guys, to to really face that head on. Um, both sides, both sides refused to do that. Um, overall, and even though both sides refused to do that, unfortunately. Um, sort of the way the tables are turning, I see that a lot of white prominent people, um, you know, podcasters, influencers, uh, independent news people, um, they're going to have, they're going to be stoned. (laughs) Not as in marijuana, but as in the ancient stoning, you know, when you, when they would stone people, um, stone criminals to death. It's basically a mob throws stones at a person to kill them. Now, it won't happen physically, but it will happen and has already begun to happen. Um, I, I really see a lot of these white prominent people kind of meeting brutal, brutal virtual deaths, you know, and, and the whole reason has to do with the fact that the issues were not resolved and they were coming out and instead of being faced, instead of being addressed properly, then everyone took advantage of the situation in a way that, um, that's, that was self-serving, you know, rather than actually having a, striving to have a sacrificial understanding heart. So I really just want, I wanted to put that out there. You know, I really, I see that coming. And um, I'll be here. Uh, I'll be here not to protect white prominent people from their own blind spots, prejudice, and or bigotry. But to, but to shield them as much as I can from, um, from undue from undue suffering, you know, and if they must, and if they must, you know, sort of meet a brutal end, virtual end, then, and because of, because of their own actions, because of their own blindness, because of their own belligerence, and that is between them and their creator, that is between them and God, I'm not here to stop that or do anything about that, I, I cannot, but I am here to see that, um as much undue suffering is is prevented and that we can continue to move forward as difficult as it is towards reconciliation and understanding